Hello everyone, welcome to Ford's Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss about the public groups. What are public groups? Why we needed them and how we can create them in our Salesforce org. Okay. So today we'll discuss about the public groups. So our first point is what are public groups? Okay. So public groups, okay, so public groups is a group of user, okay, we have two, three users and using this two, three users, we want to create a group. So in future, as per our requirement, we can be able to share our records or the list views or anything. So we will going to combine these all the user and create one group, okay. So public groups are different, completely different from the permission set groups, okay. In the permission set group, permissions are considered, okay. But in the public groups, only the user are added and the public group is created okay so next question comes here in our mind here why we needed these public groups okay so public groups are needed to share the records okay if you are aware about the sharing rules okay whenever there uh, comes to share the record with the owner based or either with the criteria based okay so in the owner based with the single user we cannot share the record so what we need to do we need to create a public group okay and in this public group then we can add the users to which we want to share the record okay next thing is comes like the list views okay we have a list views and based on the locations or based on the different criteria i want to share the list view with the group of users so in such cases also we can create these public groups and share our list views okay similarly the reports or the folders we can create these public group and share our reports and all okay next thing is how or how we can so next thing is how we can create these public groups in our salesforce okay so now let's move back to our Salesforce point. So here, so here from the setup, so here we will going to discuss how we can create our public groups. Okay, so here from the quick find box, you can directly search for the public groups. Okay, so this one is the public group. You can click on this. So here one public group is already created in my org. This is the reviewers. Okay, so you can create a new group also. So let me show you how this look like. So here reviewer is the public group name and whatever the multiple users you want to add to this group, you can add using here uh, using the edit section. And so when I click on this edit button, this is how it will going to open. So here we can add the label name or the group name, whatever you want to give. And then here you can see whatever the active members your org is having currently in my org. I have Kanika Chauhan as the active user. So only this user is added as a member in this public group. Okay. And here, as you can see, there is one checkbox is there grant access using hierarchy. So you must have heard this multiple times in the sharing settings also. Okay, in the role hierarchy. So grant access using hierarchy. So if you will going to make this checkbox as true, so what will happen? Or whatever the users are, uh, whatever the users are in the upper hierarchy for all the user member in this, the records will be shared with them also. Okay. So let me show you when selected any record shared with the user in this group are also shared with the user higher in the role hierarchy. Similar way we are having in the role hierarchies if we will going to mark this as true then the whatever the managers are there they can be able to access the uh, records of their lower users or the teammates and all. Okay so similarly whatever the user we will going to add here and their managers or the users which are in upper hierarchy can be able to see the records of this public group okay so this is how we can create the public group in our salesforce so now uh, let's take an example so here uh, again i have a account okay so here multiple list views i am having so these are the multiple list views i am having here so what i want now this particular list second list view i want this list view to be visible or to be shared with the particular public group or a or or with the set of users okay so yes we can do so also so here in the setting button you will go here we have this sharing settings okay when i click on this sharing settings here it will going to give me the option only i can see this list view okay 
all the user can see this list view if you will going to check this checkbox second one then the all the users of this or can be able to uh, see this list view now the next one is share this list view with the particular group of users okay so whatever the public groups we have created in this salesforce uh, in this salesforce or will be visible here okay so currently we have reviewers so here as you can see this is the public group which we have already created so i have selected this one and like uh, and when i click on this save button so whatever the users are added in this public group so this list view will be visible to all of them okay so this so this is how we can make use of public groups in our salesforce okay uh, like suppose uh, and again the next example is whenever we want to share the records also using the sharing rules then also we can use this public groups when groups okay whenever i want to share the reports and dashboard with the particular group of users then again i can use this public groups okay okay so so in this video we have discussed about the public groups what are these public groups why we needed them and how we can create them in our salesforce org okay so if you have any questions or any queries do let me know in the comment section we'll meet you soon in the next video